Well, hey guys, this is Fish Hook, and I'm Charles, and today we got an interesting thing going on. We were driving through Dunedin, Florida, looking for a good seafood place to eat, and we came across Jensen Brothers Seafood Wholesale and Retail. We got a really cool thing, and what makes it cool is that they own this cool restaurant right next to it, Carver's Fish House, which we are gonna get taste, hopefully a nice good grouper sandwich or something, whatever's uh, on the menu. So let's go inside and meet the owner's daughter, Carly. Guys, welcome to Fish Hook. I'm Charles, and I have my assistant with me, my wife Amy, today. We are in a really cool place here in Dunedin, Florida. It is Jensen Brothers Seafood. I am with Carly, who is the proprietor's daughter. So she's the brains and the beauty of the organization. So they told us only talk to Carly. So they've got two. Uh, parts to this business, and I'm going to let Carly introduce herself, and she'll tell us a little bit about who Jensen Brothers are. Thanks for having me. Yep. So I'm Carly Jensen of the Jensen Brothers Seafood. My dad actually started this business in 1984, long, long time ago, uh, with his dad. So oh, once wow. they started, they were actually selling North Carolina rainbow trout and Mississippi catfish right out of the back of their truck. So coming from two products to we have over 200 items, fresh and frozen, oh, seafood related, now um, is pretty amazing. Uh, so we started that and then we opened to the retail in 2006 and then we just opened our restaurant here, Carter's Fish House, in 2018. So keep making those little steps and getting our name out there. Luckily we're right in the heart of downtown Benny, so that makes it pretty easy. Good, now how is the... We will be going outside and Carly will show us their wholesale retail operation, but how well is that business doing over there? How long has the, that business been open? Yeah, so that's been open 13 years now to the retail, and we get new faces every single day. Okay. Um, we're constantly having to print off menus because new people are popping through. There's so much foot traffic down Douglas Avenue uh, every single day of the week, not even just the weekends. Uh, people coming to visit, even people coming from St. Pete, Tarpon just coming down to Dunedin for the day. Dunedin is strong. It's They're grown. on the map. Oh, yeah. It's like all this new Every building. piece of land is being built. So oh, yeah. there's so many new restaurants, breweries. We have it all right here. So you're pretty well received over here. We are. Yeah. Uh, we are pretty much the biggest variety of fish in the area. We have been serving the Pinellas and Hillsborough counties for about 10 years now, both wholesale and retail. So, Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. This is a really cool town, guys. If you've never been in this part of Florida, we're about 10 or 15 minutes south of Palm Harbor on US 19, off the Douglas Avenue, in a little town of Dunedin off the water. I go fishing a lot, you'll hear me say Dunedin Causeway. It's the lake from Dunedin to Honeymoon Island, a beautiful state park. And we fish north and the south side, great fish there. And it's just a mecca for people to come to lay out at the sun. There's a little beach front there. And this is like an eclectic, am I right to say eclectic town? Yes. There's yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of character. Yes, a lot of character. And it's just nice to see this. It's not important. To the depth of the fish market, I've walked through it already, and we're going to go there. You'll see the variety. You guys can get anything from A to Z that's caught in the ocean. It's fresh here. And it's nice to get it right in the neighborhood. Yes. So I was talking to uh, your manager. What's his name? Is it Jim. That? Jim. I was here a couple of days ago to tell him what coming. And he said that they get so much business. Right across the street, all these apartments. Yeah. And even they just move there. It's crazy. Here. Yeah. So we know half of them right. by their first name. I mean, uh, there's nice. this one guy, Connor, he's the sweetest. He comes here two to three times a week. We all know each other's families. Excellent. And it's, it's really great. People really, if they're calm, I know I am, like everybody else, if I'm comfortable with a place, yes. price is secondary. I like, um, the service. Other, I, I like yeah. service, and you like to be friends with somebody outside of the county. Yeah. And I always treat them like, you know, so this Absolutely. 
So in Columbus, fish guys, right? Yes. What's your number one dish? Our number one seller is actually going to be our grouper sandwich. We do that black and grilled or fried. It's all up to the consumer. Uh, we have fresh red grouper coming pretty much daily here. Oh, so it comes into our warehouse next door. We fillet it, bring it right here, cook it, serve it. So hold on, you fillet it here too? Oh, you guys yeah. prep the fish and everything? Not here in Carver's, but in our warehouse. I'll give you your warehouse. Yep. Oh, very good now. Oh, yeah. Are you involved? Is your company involved in catching the fish? Or they're outside yeah. vendors? They're outside vendors um, that we've been doing for years. Pretty much we skip out that part. So we go down to Madeira is usually where we get a lot of our fish from. Um, we go down there physically, pick up the fish, bring it back here. Oh, good. So you got a good connection. Yeah. Right we have some ocean. guys that have been commercial fishermen for years. Our fish cutter, Tommy, he's lived on a boat most of his life. Um, Beautiful. So now he's here. He's loving it. Everyone knows him by his orange jumpsuit. So we probably see him walking around. Well, you know, when you work in places, that's very common. Yes. Especially in a cooler, yeah. Or on the boat, yeah. You're going to smell like a fish. We all, <laughs> we all do. Uh, well, we are. They are making a life right? They are, yeah. So, we're going to, guys, today we're going to uh, give you a treat. We're going to sit outside. they got a great, and we'll shoot a picture of that. they got a great a, um, outside patio here. How many people are going to see uh, close to 20. Oh, wow, excellent. But it, that's exactly what you want. You don't want a big, huge meat market. Yeah. This makes it more homey, more attached. And I see that you guys sell wine. Yeah, we do items to go to. So you can come here, sit on our covered patio, or take stuff to go. Nice. Uh, we do beer and wine, both singles or by class, but we also do packaged as well. So if you need something quick to go, uh, we have a lot of people who are going on the boat, get some killing eat shrimp, get some fish bread. And really? Oh, yeah. Or come in from the boat. And, yeah. Well, look, the alternative is either find a, uh, a fish store someplace that is scattered pretty far, or you got to go to public one of the big retailers, and you're limited to stuff that's been... Uh, you just never know what commercially packaged. It's, it's yeah, anyone, right? Yeah. Because it could be packaged in Mississippi and it's over here. And it's not fresh like you guys. Right. Now your fish, you sell fish spread also. We do. You guys make it here on the premise. So fish spread, we do not. We have been doing business with this saying. Here Ooh. comes a group for sandwich. Holy crap! So let's show everybody. Amy, want to show a picture of this? I'm going to use the camera. And look at this sandwich. <laughs> Is that not something you want to feast on? Yeah. Oh, this looks so good. So that is our black and grouper sandwich. We and what is on top? Parmesan cheese. A lot of people man. don't think about cheese with grouper, but... Get closer. Oh, man. It is delicious. Oh, that's the first time. So me and Amy, we're going to split this. And we're going to we're gonna eat this first. Okay. So let's do that. I don't want this to be cold. No, yes. This is on the mouth of the water <laughs> sandwich here. So we're going to eat this outside. Perfect. And guys, I'm going to bring you with us. Guys, yes. this is Carver's Fish House. Their menu. Got a lot of really good stuff here. I mean, look at this. This is a little conch fritters, crab and shrimp seafood salad in a neighborhood fish store. So come on. So we have that kind of base menu on what we have all the time, but every single day we try to switch it up. So we do a daily special, we call it. Um, some days it might be grilled North Carolina rainbow trout, some days it might be fish and chips, just kind of depends on what's the freshest catch of the day. Um, we do monkey sandwiches, amberjack, filet, just kind of depends. Oh, so we try to keep it switched up so if you come multiple times, you always have something new to try. Yeah, that's the uh, variety is a spice of life. And especially in a place like this, right now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is good, this is good. So, well guys, I'm tired and we're gonna go outside into the outdoor patio. And uh, we're gonna chow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Dying for the grouper sandwich. We have a fork. Well, honey, you go first. Tell me the truth. This is an honest review of what they've got here. Tender. <clears throat> it's on the spicy side. Ah, I like that. A little different. Oh, really? This is really I never good. had it with cheese. Grouper. Wow, it's so much grouper. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Here we go. Excellent. Mm. Sorry, guys. It's finger looking good. You're enjoying it too much. Oh my goodness. 
tastes a little like I don't know, Cajun. Oh yeah. Like a Cajun grouper. But they said it's blackened, so. I love blackened. Mm-hmm. I know you're not supposed to smack your lips when you eat, but just look at that delicious piece of grouper. Oh my goodness. Mm. Fresh as can be. This is all fresh caught local waters. I'm glad we came by. Me too. We were driving around Dunedin the other day and um, we wanted to see if there were lobster. Let's just see what's in the world of fish and seafood. Something really original, not a copycat. And this is about as original as you get in a family business, Jensen Brothers. It doesn't get better than that. I'm going to go for one more bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. I am really, just look at that big slab of river. I'm going to bite it right now, me too. But she said this is local? Mm -hmm. They get the fish locally? Everything, well, they got the North Carolina rainbow trout. I can understand that. You don't get rainbow here. But amberjack, grouper, a salmon you don't get here, so that gets, that gets brought in. Do yourself a favor. When you're in Dunedin, mm -hmm. we're going to post a picture of the place. Jensen Brothers Seafood Company. 13 years in this establishment as a wholesale retail distributor of fresh seafood. And I can't believe it. they filleted here and everything. So it's, it's a, from A to Z and just put it on the grill when you eat it. And then this is about a year ago, she said, they did Carver's Fish House. And it's in a family that's the owner's daughter. And uh, I don't know if there's any other uh, family members that work here, but I know there's at least two Johnson brothers and they got a daughter. So who knows who else? But uh, we're going to chow down on this and then we're going to go uh, next door and Carly's going to give us a walkthrough of uh, how they do the uh, uh, wholesale business and the retail business. And I'm with Carly Jensen. Yes. Jensen. And <clears throat> I'll have grouper in my teeth. <laughs> but that was a delicious sandwich. But now she's going to take us next door to this building is where their wholesale and retail operation is. Yeah. So come on down. This Hi, is where it all began. You know. In 2006, we officially opened the doors. This is not your average seafood market. No, it's uh, totally different. And we are a little different here because we don't do the whole display case. So a lot of people don't know how foul display cases really are as far as like fresh seafood. You don't really want that. Um, usually it doesn't keep the freshness on the fish. Um, and a lot of the times they just leave it in there overnight and those things only get so cool. So here we pack all of our fish on ice, um, everything that's fresh and we keep it in our big walk-in cooler, which I'll actually show you. We have four freezers full of frozen product, um, crab legs, lobster meat, all sorts of different fish, shrimp, scallops, alligator meat, uh, frog legs, really anything frog you can think of. Right. Yeah, monkfish, stuffed clams, top clams, whole bunch of stuff. Um, that not necessarily is super local or that we can get in fresh. So. Very nice. A little bit of everything, guys. Look at this triple tail. Oh, nice. That's the first time I've seen that one. Just came in today. $21.99 a pound. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of good stuff here that you wouldn't normally get at a fish store. All right. Then we'll go back into the walking tour. How are you? Good. So you can tell here we're just right in the heart of beautiful downtown Dunedin. Yes. I, lo I really like it. It's just nestled in. It's, it's so fun. He's our manager. This is the big man over here, yes. So here is our best seller. It's our wild Scottish salmon. Comes in whole from Scotland, flown over on ice. Oh my goodness. Uh, one day air, it's amazing. Uh, we fillet it once it gets here. So we get that about four times a week. We just got in the fresh amberjack, which actually you'll see that little fish right here sticking out. Oh my goodness. So that's what it really looks like. Uh, Look at that, guys. It's, it's huge, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have swordfish. We have wahoo. Just got here out of Key West. 
We have some red grouper up top, a little bit of mahi, tuna moi. Sushi tuna has become nice. such an amazing seller here. It's a, mm -hmm. a crazy. We have grouper cheeks up top. Oh yeah, we know cheeks when oh, we do walleye fish. Oh yeah. Nice. Um, that's going to be the fresh triple tail I just got here. Oh, We have yeah. some Atlantic salmon. Um, it's a little cheaper than the Scottish, so it's a different alternative. Then we have red snapper. We have more underneath. Oh, red snapper. Very red snapper. Nice. And then New England cod. And we do actually keep our fish heads. Um, a Look lot of that, recreational guys. crabbers take those. Yeah, that's the amberjack head. So, now, let me ask you a question. Yes. They wanted to you got flown in Scottish salmon. Yes. Is that whole ocean? It's, it's not farm raised. It's not farm raised. Um, so it's wild cod. They are in pins in the ocean, but they don't treat them. They're feeding what flows in and out. Um, so it is wild. That's a big deal. I, I, on my channel, whenever I do a step here, whenever I do fishing uh, dinners and stuff, I tell everybody, whether you buy a Walmart or wherever, you won't go. Get raw from the ocean. Yes. I, I, I try to get as like shrimp as close to my home to water as course. possible. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get China. I don't, I don't trust. No. I, don't, I just don't. Yeah. We only have, I think, two or three products that are farm raised, which is going to be the Lansing salmon, which is cheaper, okay. um, rainbow trout, and catfish will be happy. So. I like that Scottish salmon. One day area. That's about as fresh as it yeah. gets. And ocean cod. I'm telling you, that's a big deal. It is. It, that's why it's our best seller here. I mean, just the flavor. You can just taste it. Look at that, guys. What? Oh, man. Yeah. I love that. It's nearing the end of the crawfish season, is so now is the time to get them. Fresh scallops right out of Bristol, Maine. We usually don't keep the lids off. He did that. Clams out of Cedar Key. This is cool. Now, what kind of, what do we got in here? That's going to be maki filet. My, oh, that's what mahi looks like. Yep. And then we have uh, fresh live oysters that we get usually out of Louisiana. Oh, my goodness. So you really got it stopped. Look at this, guys. Key West pink shrimp. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I want to organize my freezer like this. Oh, this is beautiful. And you got crab, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, guys. Yes. Excellent. Oh, this is ridiculous. Look at that. Stuffed clams. Oh, yeah. I like this. Lobster bisque. Oh, my goodness. South African lobster. I have not. No. It has a gorgeous white meat, and I did some research on it when we first got this in. And I guess globally, it's like one of the best hot meals you'll find. And it, it has like a gorgeous look at that shell. Mm. How is the meat taste compared to New England lobster? So sweet. It's sweet. Really? It's delicate. I mean, I think this would blow New England lobsters out of the water. Really? That looks like a really small tail, though. This is eight ounces, so that's going to oh, be okay. half a pound, probably your average tail serving. Uh, I mean, we also have New England tails that are going to be closer to 16 ounces. That's my so kind of lobster. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. yeah, so we have a little bit of everything just for people's price range. And we try to complement everyone's Oh, you know, look at this, size. guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Okay. You guys remember what this is? Look at all these lobster tails. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea that Africa had lobster tail. You guys, come to Dunedin. Come visit Carla Jensen. I uh, met her dad just a couple minutes ago. Another wonderful gentleman. You guys will have a treat here. Uh, the staff is really helpful. And look, you guys just came with us in the freezer. Met Jim, the man. He's the man here. Everything from African lobster tail, which I just learned something new I didn't know about. Look at the size of that amberjack. That was easy. And the thing is they cut them, fillet them here. This is awesome. So fresh mahi, triple tail. Honestly, I've been here before. I never saw that. Just got it in. Yeah. So this is a tremendous variety. Let me tell you, I've been to a lot of different fish places down here. It's talks and seafood and others like that. Great, great one. I didn't see any of the variety that I've seen here. This really is really a surprise because I didn't 
we didn't uh, talk about this ahead of time, and I didn't know more. This is the first time I've ever been in that freezer. I'm, that was a nice surprise. And now African mobs to tell everyone what I was. So, guys, thanks so much for uh, joining with us. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. We're glad you uh, want to be part of our family. And again, show Carl some love, show Jensen brother some love. Visit them. You can pick your fish, they'll cook it for you, and you can have it right there, just like we did with the group. So again, until next one, God bless.